Paris. We're the icebox of the nation. God bless you, but get your own. Bring it on, balls. We're the freezer. You're just the icebox. It's a good-natured rivalry that's been going on for years. A David versus Goliath duel. Who is colder? International Falls, population 7,000. Or Embarrass, population 700. People generally think of Embarrass as the town that's the coldest, because if they've heard of Embarrass, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll say, oh, that's the cold spot. Embarrass is a, a wonderful community that had never had like a weather bureau and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when you go through it, it only takes a couple of seconds, and it's just a beautiful town. <laughs> now, International Falls has trademarked the slogan, Icebox of a Nation, and that rubbed Roland Fowler from Embarrass the wrong way. So he started recording temperatures outside his house and sending his findings to the National Weather Service and started somewhat of a national campaign for Embarrass to be recognized as the king of cold. Yes, we kind of put Embarrass on that. We have a little fun with it, but uh, you know this area, the whole northeast part of, of Minnesota and the Canadian border is fairly close in temperature ranges and we'll give them a couple of degrees if, that, if it makes them feel better. Embarrass is actually colder than International Falls, but they aren't the coldest in the state. The tiny town of Tower takes that title, but neither Tower nor Embarrass are recognized as being colder than International Falls since they don't have official National Weather Service equipment, and the falls does.